Hello, and welcome to another free e-learning tutorial from dakinane.com. This tutorial today is a request from Jackie at askatechteacher.com and is Google Story Builder. In a nutshell, Google Story Builder creates a video of a text document as it is created and has lots of potential for collaborative writing in the classroom. As you can see here, I'm already signed into Google and to start making my story, I click on the build option. On the build page, I can then enter the names of my characters or participants who will be writing or contributing to the overall story. To start writing, all I have to do is to click on the right story button and start to write in the right hand panel. By default, the first name I wrote, Tom in this case, will be the first person to write. However, I can change by clicking on the character drop down and selecting from the list. To allow another voice to be heard in the creation of the story, all I have to do is to click on the greyed out character icon and select a new name from the character drop down and then the flag on the text will change. Once changed, I can carry on adding new content, editing what has been already been created or whatever suits the overall flow of the story being created. It is important to realise that it is this transition from character to character in the creation of the end product that is as much part of this particular story writing process as the end product overall, which is what makes it such a great tool for collaborative story writing. In the final video that is output, typos that have been corrected as the words have been typed do not appear, making the story flow much smoother. I can then click on the character button as often as I want to change the voice of the work being written. As you can see in my example here, the three characters are collaborating and editing their written work as the overall piece develops. Using the arrow keys, it is possible for characters to go back to key words in the text and to delete and add words to suit their argument as you can see here with my leader's example. The point being that in the final product we might end up with Wellington, but in this story builder version we get to see the evolution of great leaders from Tom through Darius, Alexander and Napoleon until we get to Wellington. In other words, we see the whole evolution of the story, not just the end product. At any time in the story writing process, once more than one character has had some input, it is possible to preview the story by clicking on the preview story button. Google will then play back the timeline of the text being written, complete with the flag switches to identify who is writing what at any given point, as in my example here. This tool is designed around collaboration, but it is collaboration around a single keyboard, making this a great activity for students working in groups around a single computer. This is the kind of tool that makes managing many students around a limited number of resources easy to manage and helps teachers to integrate e-learning into their classroom programs or rotations with greater ease. As you watch my story evolve, I hope that you can see that the characters themselves have a central part to play in the creation and execution of the final product. If the names of individual characters in the story relate to actual students in a class, then a teacher has formative assessment data to work with to evaluate different aspects of the writing process. Who input what ideas, who corrected what, etc. In addition, this tool could also be used to present historical data from the perspective of those that were involved. In other words, this tool is more than just a bit of fun. A lesson designed around this tool and appropriately planned for will facilitate some excellent learning outcomes. To set the tone of my story video, I can add some genre music to the background if I wish, by clicking on the Add Music option at the bottom left of the screen. When I've made my choice, I can then click on the Finish Up icon to save my completed work. Now I can add a title to my work and also add my name to the work for identification. Note that the title of the work has a finite character limit. My work is now complete and is ready to be shared. To share, all I have to do is to click on the Get Share Link button and then Google generates a link and a Google Plus link for sharing. My only criticism here is that there is no embed option or other social media share options for me to choose from. But as it's still an app in development, I guess I can't be too fussy. 
Well, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks again for watching. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel to be the first to see my new tutorials and also to share my videos with your colleagues. So until the next tutorial, keep practicing!